What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right, another one. Me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are going to help you guys out with great tips, tricks, and things are going to hopefully entice, help, and uplift your relationship to a whole new, better, and positive level. And don't worry, guys. If you're single, or ladies, if you're single out mm -hmm. there, and you're maybe in between relationships, mm -hmm. or don't even want to talk about relationships, when you do, or when you get to that point, this should hopefully give you guys some good advice about how to make that new relationship better than the last one, yep. for sure, 100% of the time. And it's usually all about experience, too, which leads us to our topic of the day and the question you should really, you know, kind of ask yourself, right? It is, what do you, what did you used to believe about relationships that you no longer do? Mm, that's a good question. It's a really, really good question. It's a good question because I think, you know, from when we were kids until now to adults, obviously we've had a lot more time and experience, but what was our perception back then to now about what relationships we're going to be like or, or exactly what they should be like or what do you do in relationships i think a lot of things have changed right mm, i agree yeah so for me i mean i, I always uh, i think about this i'm like all right mm -hmm. so you know obviously <laughs> yeah yeah tell me <laughs> growing tell up me. like the greek you know i am god tell me uh, i already know, know the answer <laughs> i thought you know relationships really determined uh you know almost almost gender roles i'm, I'm an old school person right <laughs> oh boy uh <laughs> politics on abc <laughs> so no i'm just an old school i'm an old school thinker as far as that goes and you know, i wish i was born almost in the 50s and stuff like that than now because you know i like that time period in the united states you know where everybody was open um, you know, you could trust people more likely. Everything was out in the open, and uh, it was a lot better, I think, in my eyes. Anyway, but I always go back to that, right? To that lifestyle where you know the guy goes out to work, um, the wife's at home, she, you know, and and she's working, you know, at home basically with the kids and taking care of the home. So it's a job too. So I recognize that right away. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, that's kind of what I thought of relationships. Like you know, guys do one thing, girls do another thing, and you know they come together and that's that's kind of what it is you know they mm -hmm. love each other but they also have what they're supposed to do for the relationship i guess that, that's the best thing right yeah he's he was like that <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely like that it took I, a few years to break that I, I, <laughs> okay this is, this is roast john day right, so um you know i mean Listen, I, I'm not. I'm very truthful and honest about it, and I wasn't narcissistic to the point where you gotta do this or that's it. Like you know, I'm, I I don't think I was to that point. Yeah, mm. eh, maybe I was to yeah, a little know, bit. To a circumstance, yeah. you know. Hey, listen, I still think to this day, alphas are alphas, betas are betas. There can only be I've one alpha in a relationship, this. right? I've given them. I, I'm, so, I'm only an alpha outside of the relationship. You know, in, in old school thinking, you know, the male is always the alpha. They're gonna lead the pack, right? And, and the betas usually the, the females or lesser males, I guess, that are going to follow. And, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Now, do I believe that to this day? No. Now, what I think about relationships to this point is, is that... I've showed him that I can bring in money. I don't even think it's the money. <laughs> I, I showed him that I can do more than cook. Because I can't cook. <laughs> I, th I, think to I can me, clean. I think to me it was, it was uh, you know, <laughs> being able to give up some of that trust to do these things, right? Or to be able to follow through on some of these different things. And I think that's, you know, that's obviously proven, you know, in our relationship. So, you know, I'm more of an open thinker to that, to these days. Now, do I think what's going on in certain circumstances is right? No, but I think males, you know, should do men things and females should do female things to a certain degree. And uh, males should definitely not cross over into females. And uh, if females want to cross over to males, go ahead. I don't got a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't got a problem with it either way, but in sports wise, I, I definitely think there's an issue there. But other than that, man, you know, relationships are are what they are, right? They're, they're something that you guys need to work on um, 24 seven. It's a job. You always got to be working towards it's a better relationship. It's constantly evolving too. It's, constantly, it's constantly evolving. evolving. People, you know, as, as themselves are, are evolving too in the relationship, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, your job where you guys are, you know, expanding the family and bringing in little ones. Um, even pets and stuff like that. That's, yeah, those that's are children too. Little fur babies. They're definitely there for you guys. Your I mean, parents. Those are also children as the, well. The parents too. We yeah. rack a bunch of. I mean, we should. Yeah. I should be able to claim all these things, right? <laughs> On taxes, right? We should be able to claim animals too. Yeah, we should. <laughs> you know, 
And I think at one point, I think we will get there. One, one the, the I won't doubt it. Yeah. I won't doubt it. We'll claim yeah. birds, hamsters, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'm so, sure. We will uh, have 10 hamsters locked up in a little cage in a room just so they can claim 10. I mean, it's really crazy how things are these days. I mean, think about it. When we were kids, right, you know, people could actually do violence against animals, right, and, and not have any have any recourse, mm -hmm. right? So back in the day, it is definitely not right. I'm definitely not saying I'm an animal lover big yeah. time. But, you know, if kids killed a dog or a cat or whatever it is and, and got, I, I think everybody when we were kids has seen this, the new age kids I don't think have seen something like that, or shot them or something like that with BB guns. I, listen, kids back when we were growing up were a lot different a whole other than the kids game. these days, right? It's a whole other ball we were, game. We were a lot more freer, free-spirited and being able to do different things. And I think our parents let us loose to be able to do more things. Um, you know, you always see those memes out there with the little kid, you know, with the the bashed up eye and stuff like that. Like, oh, I just had a great day outside, you know, because that's what it was. I mean, you'd go out, <laughs> you'd have fun with your friends, you know. Come I mean, up with scratches on your knees and all yeah, kinds of boo -boos. you know, maybe you guys are playing tackle football. People, you know, it, it happens. I mean, listen, I remember when I was a kid, my brother was nine and a half years older than me. And at that point, my brother, he would have to like literally take me everywhere he was with because my parents were entrepreneurs and were never around. So... I used to go with him, and, and, and hockey up up north is, is really big, right? And it's really cold where I'm from up north. So we would have this pond in the back, and these guys would come over and play hockey. Now, I'm like maybe 10 years old. My brother's like 19 years old, and he's got his buddies in there playing hockey. Of course I want to get out there and play with them. And this is real hockey. So, I mean, I remember seeing some crazy stuff and actually had my nose bashed with, with – uh, <laughs> With, with the stick and actually come home. My parents were flipping out about it uh, to a certain extent, but that's just, you know, that's what, what happens, you know? So uh, it, it's crazy, you know, experience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm probably like maybe the opposite of what John just said. Um, like what my, what what's changed about what I thought about relationships. So, you know, when I first met John, you know, I told him, cause I'm, I, I, walked into the relationship alpha i've always been an alpha i was a child alpha i grew up i came out of the womb and i'm like alpha because i was like i'm gonna be alpha forever right so of course i'm walking in the relationship and i tell him i'm like hey so just so you know like i don't want you like blowing up my phone and trying to like track me down don't ask me where i'm going and you know just we're gonna just do two separate things okay so he actually just did that, right? And, you know, every other relationship... I'm like, I'm okay with that. <laughs> oh, he was, well, super, me, he was super okay with that, right? <laughs> every other relationship was kind of like, whatever, you do your thing, I'll do my thing, I don't care, whatever, whatever, whatever. It was kind of one of those, like, I don't care. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I come across John, and this was a very special relationship, obviously. And I'm just like, I don't know what it was, but obviously I wanted to spend, like, every single moment with him. This was after I had told him this, and then he abided by these you know, requests of mine. And then I'm like, Ugh. I'm like, but he's not calling me. I'm like, he, what's going on here? I'm like, why is he not calling me? Like, and so I'd call him, and be like, wow, well, you didn't call me today. Like, are you not thinking about me, or like, what's your problem? And he'd be like, well, you told me not to call you, so I didn't. <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm like, well, you know, you still call, you know, and so he he still abided by it, but you know, it flipped me upside down, which. I wasn't used to and I was like oh I just wanted to spend all my time with him so like I always thought it was kind of like you know to always spend separate times you know away with your friends and you know do separate things and everything and now that I'm with John it's you know different and I feel like you know we should do everything together everything's done together we hang out together we do literally do everything together even like when we hang out with friends they're all friends that we hang out together with right he doesn't like have his friends and I have my friends we usually, even if he has friends that didn't know me or I have friends that didn't know him, we still all hang out as friends, all of us, right? So it's just, it's a different type of relationship for sure because not everybody's like that. But that's kind of one thing that's like a huge change for me because when I first met him, it wasn't like that at all. It was not, <laughs> not at all. And then, of course, he flipped the script on me and I was like, wait, but I do want you to call me. <laughs> But wait, I, I do want to hang out with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Be careful what, what you, you ask, ask for. for. Oh. Those, those, those old lines are so true. Every time I say one of them, man, like, <sighs> I cannot believe this, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so true. Be careful what you ask for, you know, what mm -hmm. you really want, because you just might get it. Mm -hmm. Right. And when you get it, 
you might not like what you get because you thought it was going to be something totally different and you really didn't feel like that. But you so. see what happened here though, right? So we accommodated to each other, right? Because yeah. John, I'm sure, was used to doing his own thing with his guys, right? And he had accommodated to me. Yeah. Like, okay, fine, I guess you, you can come along on this little trip, right? And I'm like, yippee, I get to go on a guy's trip, right? Yeah. Cool me, right? So, and then I accommodated to him, right? Because listen, I worked two jobs and went to college. So I didn't, there was no time to cook and clean. I mean, I didn't leave my house, like, or wherever I was living, apartment, whatever. I didn't leave it in a total mess because, it was, you know, I kept everything clean. But as far as, like, cooking a full-blown meal or something, that didn't happen because there was no time to cook full-blown meals. So, you know, when I go with John, I'm like, all right, I'll meet you at this halfway point and, you know, I'll cook or I'll learn to cook or, you know, you show me how to cook because he's showed me how to cook, if you can believe that or not. Sorry, Mom. I know you're watching. Yeah, Sita. <laughs> Sita Williams. <laughs> Maharaj. You I'm guys see her punch in the arm for me. Aye, no, I'm just joking. Aye, aye, do aye, aye, aye. You know, she taught me how to cook. Some stuff like rice and stuff. So, anyways, John didn't want to eat box food, so no. I didn't know how to cook anything outside of the box. So, you know. Box mashed potatoes. <laughs> you gotta be joking me, dude. I'm like, Sit I'm like, I'm like eat this. It's just flakes. You're crazy, man. What you just you? put the flakes in, you put, a little, put a little back to the future water, too. put a little bit of butter and a little bit of milk, and then put it like That's this. Garbage. And stick it in the microwave, and here's your potatoes. Apocalypse maybe <laughs> right now and I got potatoes free, no way. <laughs> He's telling me I gotta cut these potatoes up. I gotta mash them up and stuff with my so, actual like that's right. get the little bowl, masher. get the, 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 the little thing. You know how hard that is? No, they got the little machines now, the mixers. You have to mash it up. You got so. the mixers. Anyways. But you meet each other at a halfway point, right? So everybody's happy. The experience is everything, so that's what it's all about. <laughs> Alright guys. That's been another great show from us here at Cupid's Corner. Me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, and me, John. We'll be back with you guys next week, ABC, 11 a.m. Make sure you watch it live. But if you don't, don't worry. You can DVR it. And if you missed that too, just go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, and hit that subscribe button and watch all the great content that Titan Medical Center has with these shows and much, much more. So thank you guys again, and we'll see you guys next Sunday on the Cupid's Corner. See you then.